welcome, welcome, come on in. Don't leave. I know what you're thinking. I need to get out of this room. This is a scary place, but wait, it's only gonna get scarier, okay? The number can't go down. We're just raising it up. We're raising it up. If you're here, you're locked in. Um, hey guys, how are we doing? How's it going? Guys, I'm real, I'm real excited. First of all, I'm home. Um, I just got back from LA. Thank you, Chevy. Um, I kind of ran out of nursery rhymes. I'm not going to lie. It, it, it hit its end. Taylor! Taylor, I literally miss you already. Um, I was just in LA for a week and now I'm home and I just got back from the gym a little while ago too. So my hair is sweaty. Mom's <laughs> spaghetti, which I can't, I don't have. I'm not eating that for dinner. I'm having salmon after this. So, but it doesn't matter. Um, you know what, guys, I'm really excited about tonight. And um, I just, oh yeah, it's five o'clock in LA. My jet lag is finally wearing off, but I'm going to act, I think, forever jet lagged because it's just kind of like, I'm drinking. Um, it's just kind of like a whole mood, you know what I mean? To like be jet lagged, it's like a personality. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be a jet lag bitch forever. Um, are all of you there tonight? Yes, we're all here. I'm here too. It's just not the same without the filter though, you know what I mean? Chelsea needs the filter. Guys, can I, can I tell you guys something before I start this podcast tonight? Um, I, you know that video that I did with Michelle being deceased because the filter um, disappeared? Those were real tears, guys. When I found out that that filter was gone, those tears were, those tears were real. They were as real as the Eiffel Tower is tall. Okay, I was practicing, um, what am I talking about? Literally, what am I talking about? Like, I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. I think I am having a stroke. <laughs> In a cute way, though. Um, what words are coming out of my mouth? This is like, I don't know what's happening. Guys, I'm really excited about tonight's episode. I'm interviewing Cole Escola. I'm hope, I hope I'm saying his last name right, because the way that I dug and dug and dug, and I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right, but... I've never seen him live. So, you know, I'm just doing the best I can. So we'll, we'll clarify when he gets on here. But let me tell you, he's just one of my heroes. And when I was starting this podcast, when I was creating a dream list of guests, he was the top of my list. I'm not kidding. He was like top three that I needed to have on here. And when he said yes, I did shit myself and it ran down my leg <laughs> and it was crazy. I had to decline my love. Um, I've got to decline an invite because there's going to be somebody coming in here. Um, so yeah, so just stick around. It's going to be a really cool episode because I'm shaking with excitement. Um, and it's really cool because the more of these I do, the less nervous I get. Um, so yeah, Dalton, thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad I'm one of your favorites. Uh, you're one of my favorite followers. <laughs> um, so listen, ahead of time, if I don't respond to roses oh dalton thanks for the roses i was just gonna say if i don't respond to roses because i'm an idiot okay um and i just don't see them when i'm talking to the guest so if you want to send me roses send them now <laughs> i'm just kidding don't send me any roses um jace thank you but don't send me roses because you know oh i think i just hit a firefly i'm so sorry <laughs> okay i'm so sorry um god i'm so freaking insane i don't know I don't know what's happening up here, <laughs> but I like it. I made a really weird video today that I don't even think I'm gonna post because it's genuinely like really, really like, people are gonna be like, are you like, okay? Like, <laughs> I'm not okay. Oh my God, Queen Spatula, welcome baby. Um, Dalton, you're the best. You're such a talent, beautiful, great personality. Ah! Where do you live? We can be friends, we are friends. If you follow me, we're friends. Like I'm not one of those people that's like, like, if you see me on the street, I'll probably squeeze your butt cheeks if you let me. <laughs> so, only if you let me, okay? There, oh, I don't know. You're the grandma I got one over by a reindeer girl. Yeah, I sure am. I sure am. Um, guys, this is how I really am in real life. I am a psychopath. <laughs> Taylor can vouch for it. We uh, did a video when I was in LA, and uh, it was just the best. Because I always do everything by myself, and so I got to collab. I got to collab with somebody. Doug, thanks for the rose. Dalton, thanks for the toast. Is that toast? Is that toasty bread? <laughs> if you squeeze mine, I'll squeeze yours, okay? 
You've legit ruined all the childhood stories I know. Thank you. I'm so glad. Um, I needed to do... Thank you, Taylor. I needed to do... I, I, I did as many nursery runs as I could literally find, guys. Like, I know you want more, but there's just no more to do. I've done them all. So if you really need... Um, look how far I've come. And I'm only going to go farther, baby. If you really want more... I'm sorry, I have to decline your invites, even though I don't want to, because I'm expecting Cole in the room at any moment. So, oh my God, I'm so excited. Guys, I'm a lot. I'm a lot of energy. I It's hard because I match energies too. So like, if my guest is more chill, I really try to be chill, you know? But I'm just like, I'm a lot. Like, I'm just a big personality. I can't help it. Love your TikTok. Thank you so much. Um... Can we get a story on the song from the Jamaican crab on the Little Mermaid? Ooh, is there a story to be had? Um, you know, it's funny. When I was doing the Little Mermaid sketch, I was like, wait, I feel like I did do this one. Um, and I, I had done it, but I did it in like the 60 second format. And it was funny. Like when I watch back the first, you know, the first round of TikToks, I've gotten a lot darker. <laughs> like they've gotten they've gotten a lot darker and as you can tell like, I'm not a dark person I'm just an incredible actor <laughs> it's what it is um you should be on SNL call up Colin call up Lauren let him know I'm already sniffling oh my god happy birthday Michael Michael happy birthday I hope you have the best birthday ever I don't know where you are but I just hope that you're you know I like you but you're too busy I'm not I'm not really that busy, you know? Um, you live in Illinois in a town called Sandwich. I think that that's a really special thing. I'm not gonna lie. Have I watched Dahmer? Fuck yeah, I watched Dahmer. I have two episodes left because it seems like this show just never ends. And um, I am fully invested. I, I fucking love it. I think it's genius. And I, I know that a lot of families are upset. I am not saying that the production was perfect, like in terms of the story and like the retelling of it and like humanizing him a lot. But damn, those performances. Ryan Murphy just kind of slams out of the park a lot of the time. Like there were a few seasons of American Horror Story that I was not crazy about, but that's okay. You know what? Like you can't win them all. So would I do an indie horror film? I'm dying to do an indie horror film. Actually, last night I rented X. Um, which I hadn't even fucking heard of somehow. Um, thanks for the ice cream, Dalton. And I, I hadn't even heard of it. But it's Pearl, um, directed by Ty West, uh, produced by A24. If I could work with A24, that would be, like, the ideal, honestly. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Hold on a second. Um, but Pearl is the prequel to X. But X came out first. Um... Oh, my mommy. Thank you for the rose, mom. <laughs> um, so I'm, I, yeah, I watched that. Uh, I watched that last night and it was really great. Have I seen Barbarian yet? Yes. I talked about it on a podcast a couple of weeks ago, I think. Um, I saw it. I loved it. It was so fresh. And now that it's been a couple of weeks, I can talk about it because I didn't really want to like spoil anything. But I was so obsessed that Justin Long was in it. I'm a huge Justin Long fan. Like anything that he does, I'm like, you're picking good projects. They're weird and they're right up my alley. I thought Barbarian was great. Um, I'm trying to make my hair judged. I'm getting um, new headshots in a couple weeks, guys. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll post them on here and you can tell me which ones are your favorites. I'm so overdue. Um... I love your Do You Know What It Really Means series. Are there any more in the near future? Yes, I hope. Um, so I kind of, I literally ran out of nursery rhymes. I did all of them. There is a playlist on my page. If you want to like go through all of them and watch all of them again, please feel free. Uh, but yeah, I watched, I did all of them. Um, so hopefully Cole knows how to get in here okay. It's kind of like tricky, I feel like sometimes to like get in here, but I hope that he finds his way in here okay. I can't wait to interview him, them. I can't wait to interview them, and I'm so excited. Ah, oh, here he is! Okay, here we go. <gasps> Hi! Did we do it? We're doing it. I'm, uh, I did it right? You did it right. Okay, okay, great. Oh my gosh, Cole. Everybody, this is Cole. Cole Escola, right? It's Escola? Yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure I pronounced your name right. Um, 
I you got it. I need to gush about you for just a second because sure. I've, I've been into you for the longest time. Um, wow. When I created this podcast, you were like one of the first names that popped into my head that I was like, I'm doing this so that I can meet Cole. So that's so sweet. You're insane. <laughs> I am. Yeah. Great. And a lot of that Good. comes from, from you, you know? Thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You inspire me. And everybody just. The your mom orange juice commercial um, was, I think, one of the first things that I saw that I was like, oh, that's what I want to be. That's what I want to do. You know? Wow. Really? Really? Truly. I was like, that's comedy. Oh, well, that was a long time ago. It sure was. It sure was. Yeah. I was, I was in college, I think, when it came out. And I watched it all of the time, but I couldn't remember who I watched it with. But I'm so happy you're here. They're dead now, probably. They definitely are. Everyone that I knew yeah. back then has passed. I think. Is gone. Yeah, well, it's been a long time. Cole is my free pass. Who's a free pass? Oh, uh, like like that. Yeah. Like Okay. And we're seeing we're seeing different audiences. So you're seeing your comments and I'm seeing my comments. Okay. See, I'm learning. I learned something new every day. <laughs> huh? Okay. This is such a special moment. I can't even, I can't even tell you. I'm so excited that you're here. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for asking me to do it. Thank you. I don't have, I didn't have anything else to do today. So have you been I really needed day this. this. Been waiting all day for this. I've been sitting in front of my phone. Just right here, right? Right here. That's right here. kind of like what I expect from my guests. So mm -hmm. yeah. The headphones yeah. are great. Are Great. they attached? Are they sewn on? They are sewn on. I, I wear them for um for everything. I never take them off, really. I, I They're noise canceling, and I prefer to always have noise canceled. Yeah, so you can't hear me at all. Good. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's joking. We're, we're joking. I'm a comedian. I'm Thanks. a comedian. Uh, somebody said Mackenzie and Cole are like Franks and Beans, peas and carrots. Are those people? Is that a band? Uh, I think that they were a group in the 80s, and then there was this tragedy, and thus we were born. The boat. Someone says, Cole, let us know what's happening. Um, this is Mackenzie Barman's podcast. Would you call this a podcast? Yes, it is a podcast, and it will be yes, available everywhere tomorrow yeah i'm just a guest i'm just uh i'm just a guest i'm here to promote my new book yeah they're guesting on my podcast and um i am just i'm honored so if you're coming from cole's just give me a follow if you're here give cole a follow you can't go wrong don't follow me i'm 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 gonna get um banned from tiktok any second i'm i have an account warning on my Do account you do you really? I do. I do. I love that. Thanks. TikTok is fun like that. It's really yeah. like a crapshoot, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let's let's get into it. Um, I Go just, for it. I want to know everything about you. Um, mm -hmm. Every Everything. So we, we'll probably be here for like a few days. Uh, Great. So it's, I hope you've eaten beforehand. I haven't eaten today at all, so oh, this good. is perfect. Yeah, that's, that's actually really what I love to hear, so I'm so mm -hmm. happy about that. So when did you, how did you begin? How did you, like, find, when did you kind of realize, like, oh, like, I'm a, I'm a genius. I'm a genius of comedy. I, um, I, I really don't like, um, I never, I never wanted to be funny. I, I really just wanted to be like pretty and, um, and wear gorgeous, gorgeous gowns. Um, but then you, you I are was, and you do. thank you. Um, and then I was made fun of so much that I was like, well, I guess I have to start doing this. <laughs> um, and then um, and then I moved to New York, um, and I wow. thought, well, I, I, I can't be an actor because everyone's an actor and I'm not as good as them. And so then, um, 
I just started making YouTube videos. Back when, back when YouTube was TikTok, basically. I'm moving closer so we can be closer to each other. Great. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, uh, yeah. And then I just, I, I started making YouTube videos with my, my friend, um, Jeffrey Self. And then we had a sketch show on Logo Network on Fridays at midnight. And um, then the rest is history. Wait, what was the timeline say. of all of that? Like you started making YouTube videos and then Logo, how, how, what was that like? How long was that? We started making YouTube videos in like 2007. And then in like maybe 2008, we did a live show and Logo came to see it. Some, some executives at Logo came to see it. Um, and they were like, they asked us to make vlogs for their website and uh like half hour vlogs but we don't okay. really that's not really what we did and so we just made um a sketch show on on like a, a little macbook computer and um and sent that into them and they were like oh cool um we'll put it on we're actually gonna put it on tv on fridays at midnight Stunning. And, and yeah. And so that's how that happened. But we weren't like, we weren't paid extra or anything. We, I think we made a thousand dollars each for the first, the first season, six episodes that we made on um, iMovie. Oh my God. Well, that yeah. sounds about right. I feel like yeah. you always hear these stories about people making like zero dollars when they have a first season of something. I love yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this was um because this wasn't even union, um oh, and were you union yeah. at the time or were were you no no we weren't oh, this was like we were like twenty two, and right. um so yeah we were just excited to have a TV show though you know I yeah I mean that's of course huge. at twenty two yeah I'm, yeah I'm yeah. Waiting, baby and I'm forty I mean it wasn't it wasn't. A, even a real show. I mean, it was a real, it was on TV, but like, you know, no one watched it. Um, Is it available now? It meant something. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know how to watch anything on anywhere. Yeah, me either. I don't even have Netflix. I don't even know how I'm here, <laughs> to be honest. I don't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's the, that's the boring story. That's it. No, I don't think there's anything boring about it. I'm I'm really curious about like when you started making YouTube videos. How when did you how did you kind of find your your like quote unquote voice? Because you have such an amazing, unique, comedic style, never been done before. Like how did you? Find it? I uh, I just I just did what um I just make what I. I think is funny and yeah. um, hope that other people like it. It's so boring. I'm so sorry. I wish I had a better answer for you. Like, no, like I boring. crafted it. Just um, lie. Just lie, you know? Just okay. Lie. Okay. Oh God. Now I have to think of a good lie. <laughs> okay. Ask me yeah, another yeah. question and I'll lie. Um, no, I just, yeah, no, the, the mom orange juice commercial, I think was the first thing that I saw of yours. And I feel like it must've been something that just popped up like on my, and I've seen like all of your, I mean, I've seen your special. I watched the whole thing actually earlier today, just because I needed a refresher of like the genius of it. Um, that's so sweet. And Thanks. I think that I, <laughs> I think that I like memorized it. I can't remember now because it truly was a while ago. But I like memorized mm -hmm. it, and I was like, "This is the best thing I've ever seen in my life." Like, mm -hmm. so. that's it. I'm just obsessed Thanks. with it. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. And I was okay. End of interview, guys. Um, thank you so much for coming. Oh, great. <laughs> so, okay, you've done a lot of TV work now. You're you've been on so many things. You're a writer too. How did you? Was was Logo kind of like the catapult into working in television? <laughs> That was the thing that made me realize, oh, I guess I could do this for, like, because, like I said, I thought that I was going to be, like, um, a pastry chef. That was, like, my plan. Um, 
because again, I thought like, well, there's nothing special about me. I'm just like gay and I, and I want attention and I live in New York like everybody else. Um, but then doing the logo show was like, um, was like, oh, I guess I am. I, I guess I could do something with this, but I wasn't, that didn't like catapult us into, um, TV. Like I still like after that and even during it, I, I, I still had my day job at a bakery. Um, So you were pastry chefing it. no, I was just like, where I was a counter person at a Oh, bakery, okay, cool. you know? Yeah. I didn't really do, I didn't get to do it. I, I frosted a lot of cupcakes, but that's it. Um, That ain't nothing, you know? Yeah. And then, I mean, I also did, um, I don't know who this podcast is for, if it's for Disney Plus or anything. Um, but I did sex work a lot, too, during those days, Oh my God, back I when. that. I had no idea. That's gorgeous. Yeah, it was, um, that was um, the days of Craigslist back then. Oh, Yeah. you know, I never, um, I never venture onto Craigslist really, unless I'm looking for a used car, Mm -hmm. you know? well, I was sort of, I was that used car for a while. <laughs> Listen, that's that. When Yeah. did you, when did you, so, okay. So, okay. So when did things really start happening for you? Like when, when were you like, Oh, okay. I'm doing this. Like this is, this is happening now. I guess it was like season two of difficult people is when I was like the, like, I think that after that, I didn't have a day job anymore. Those So, residuals, baby. oh yeah, those residuals. Um, no, cause then that's also when I started doing writer's rooms too. Um, because I knew like, it's harder to be an actor than it is to be a writer. Like Yeah. <laughs> if, if you, if you can write, then you should absolutely pursue that because, um, you know, if you're acting, you're only right for like a tiny, tiny percentage of roles. Whereas like, if you, you don't have to like look a certain type to be able to write, you know what I mean? That's actually, Um, yeah. you know, I think I, and I, I'm curious about this with you. Like, I feel like I struggle because I, I love to write too. I don't really script out anything that I do, but I love to sit and write random shit. So I have thought about Mm-hmm. the writing journey as well, but I feel like I'm like, how do you, how do I write outside of my own head, out of my own voice? And how did, how do you do that? Well, you do, you do write what you, I mean, even if you don't do it in a, uh, like, you do script out what you say, even if you're like reverse engineering it, um, that's your, that's just your process. So you absolutely, and you do write for lots of characters too, that you play. So you're a liar is what I'm saying. Like you can write for other. Yeah. 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 True. Yeah. Y y you're right. So I'm going to, I'm going to go Yeah. with that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you have, I, I think that being an actor helps writing because then you can, you know, you imagine acting it. Um, and, and just like trying to, um, write for like, like make every role like fun for someone to act or at least make it fun for you to act. So that way, you know, but you already do that. So you, it's just the, uh, like putting that in the right, like, you know, screenplay format, which is easy. That's the, that's the easy part. Yeah. Yeah. True. Do you, when Yeah. you're, I think my, I think my problem is like, I'll write all these characters out, but in my mind, it's for me. Like I'm going to play all the Yeah. roles. Yeah. So do you, do you write like that? Like I'm, you're, you're playing all these roles and then you just kind of dish them out to other, like people can just grab them later. Kind of. Yeah. I mean, I find that's when I write the best is when, or like I write, if I'm writing for myself, then I, I know like I'm taking care of it, like so that it, it'll hopefully be good. If I'm writing thinking like, oh, it doesn't matter. This person's just setting me up. for my punchline, like that isn't going to be a good part, you know? So yeah. I love that. 
So wait, okay, so wait, yeah. so wait, um, because I love your collaborative relationship with Amy Sedaris. You two are so good together. And I know that you met on the set of Difficult People. When, yes. when did you guys kind of forge your your collaborative life? So we met on the set of, of Difficult People and I and she I had like the last line of this scene and I was just like really wanted to like she's been a hero of mine for you know forever yeah. but it's that thing of like um I don't know when I really admire someone I don't want to like try to be their friend because I'm like if it if it's gonna happen it will happen like I just want I wanted her to like want to like hoped that she would like like me but I didn't want to like you know yeah. infringe on her but I I really like um just kept improvising new lines to end the scene to try and make her laugh nice. and then and I did and it was just like heaven to to make her laugh and then um after that I <laughs> I was in Oregon um and my um on visiting my family and my because my dad who I had been estranged from it's a long story but he was passing away and I got this invite to do a podcast that ain't like a live podcast at the bell house that Amy was going to be on also and I had just filmed with her in difficult people like a month before and I was like oh I really want to see her again so I was like yeah. bye dad <laughs> Good luck with good luck with death. Um, I ended up going back, but I but it is like I did go back early to do the the podcast, and like then we hung out, and then um, for some reason I I like I had just come from that, and so I told her what was going on, and she started making fun of me immediately, and like she did this bit where she was like. Um, <laughs> pretending like she was going to go on stage and talk about her dad dying like stealing all of my details and um it was so dark and so sick and I was like oh my god this is exactly what I want um yes, yeah and then twisted, so like in the best way yeah I love twisted shit it's the best yeah she was and she the fact that like on our second meeting she was making fun of my dying father I was like <laughs> oh like we're friends yeah. um and then she like reached out to me like maybe a year maybe less after that about like oh I have an idea for my new show like this character that's my next door neighbor we're writing it for you because she had seen the orange juice commercial and then yeah it wasn't and amazing. then <laughs> really oh, thanks and and we um so I acted on that and then in the second and third seasons I was also in the writer's room for it. So I got to hang out with her every day during that. Was that dating? Was it like we or were you like, no, this is just meant to be. Like we're we're good. It was well, because we had like a job to do and like something to focus on, it 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 was just like yeah, it just felt normal and and natural and um but yeah, she still like makes me laugh more than anyone. And so I'm, I still, I'm just giddy anytime I'm with her. Yeah. And yeah. At church party. I mean, one of the best comedy shows I think ever, I, I binged that show in like maybe three or four days. And the last, I mean, it was so twisted. How was that experience? Because it's truly, it was such a good fucking show. It was, um, yeah, it was fun. It was hard because I had to be really mean um, <laughs> to Alia. And that was actually, like, it made me feel bad after we were, like, like, uh, like uh, the scene when I had to, like, pour um, honey on um, Meredith. Yeah. Um, Who I also love. That, yeah, yeah. I had, like, I just felt, like, garbage after doing that to her like yeah so there was a lot of that like where I had to like do mean crazy things like force um and Dowd to eat chicken nuggets but I was also um uh 
I filmed season three of Amy Sedaris's show and Search Party um, season four at the same time. So it was like Monday through Thursday, I would be at on Amy's show and then Friday at Search Party or whatever other way around. But um, so it was really funny that I was doing both of those at Yeah. the same time. And especially that I, I played... like a version of Susan Sarandon in a red wig um, on search party and chassis also in a red wig on, on Amy's show. And I was just like, Oh, like I remember um, when I was uh, like starting out, I, I did this interview with a, a guy who asked me who my heroes were And I was like, Charles Bush and Amy Sedaris. And he was, and in the piece that he ended up writing, which was like kind of mean for some reason, he was like, I'll I kill don't him. know. I'll kill him. He's fine. He's a music critic now. Um, but he, he was like, I don't know what kind of, um, if they're like, what a, that career looks like, like, what is a career like Charles Bush and Amy Sedaris look like? And so, um, and then, It just during that time, I was like, oh, here I am playing two redheaded women at the same time. Um, yeah, so it was really special. And I haven't worked since. That's right, baby. No. That's right. <laughs> and I, okay, so talking, moving into your, your session, um, I wanted to ask you, Clay, I have a question about it. I have a good question. Mm -hmm. Can't find it. Um, oh, I wanted to know, okay, moving, I'll get to that. When you're creating new characters, is Mm -hmm. there specific, what, what does that creative process look like? Do they just come into your brain? Is there a specific like wig or prop that like drops you in? Like I know for me, like if I just put a filter on my face, I will just suddenly become that person. And that's the case. Kind of. So what's your, what, what does that look like? Yeah. Yeah, it's usually a voice or like a phrase or like, like some. Then about that didn't sit right with me like that just some sort of like brain worm seed that starts the rest of it or sometimes it's a wig yeah it's it's um whatever it comes from anything Yeah, your wig work is just astounding, truly. thanks I, I i was just born with the right face for wigs it's You not really my you do. You have a good head for wigs. Not everybody does. thanks It's hard. It is hard. Do I you can have acknowledge a my privilege in that. good? Thank you. Do you have a <laughs> Do you have a favorite wig? Um, I don't. I don't. I like being able to change them. So, Yeah. yeah. I need to get more wigs. I read, I, I think one of the interviews, I was reading something that you had talked about at one point and you were saying how it's harder to find wigs these days because it's all about fashion. And you're... Yeah, they're like, yeah, everything's like so modern, like wigs like are modern. They're for people who are, <laughs> who want to look good. And so they, yeah, so it's hard to find wigs that, uh, uh, that are like a weird person's real hair. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, what I I I've ordered wigs like on Amazon um for auditions Mm-hmm. and that good quality shit, you know, for cheap. So Yeah. if you're looking for a wig guys, Amazon. Amazon? Great. They need our help right now. They really they're struggling, you know what I mean? Yeah. We need a little guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um people are People are just going off in the comments here. I'm just going to uh, thank you guys. Chassie and Amy, best friends is hilarious. Love your chemistry. People are just complimenting over here. That's, uh, I'm getting, um, <laughs> someone offered to make me a custom wig. Great. Love that. Great. Um, <laughs> do you have a nice, do you have a nice lots. comment over there on, on your end of TikTok? A nice what? Comment A nice section? comment section. Yeah. Are people nice? Everyone's being nice. Good. Only three people are being mean. Well, we'll get Just them canceled. kidding. It's cancel culture, Great. baby. <laughs> Yeah. Okay.
So moving on to your, your, your show, um, your special. It's great. The full thing is on YouTube. If you haven't um, watched it, please watch it. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. And did you do, when did you, first of all, gather your thoughts, Mackenzie. When did you, uh, how long did it take you to produce that? Because it was all you, right? In your apartment? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How long did that take? And how did you, what did your process look like for creating that? Uh um, well, I used to do a monthly live show at the Duplex in New York where I would do a new hour every month of sketches where it was just me on stage and a person off stage reading all the other parts into a microphone so that they didn't have to learn lines and also I could keep making changes up until the last minute. Um, oh. And then, so I, I did that for like three years and then from that, I made a show that was sort of like the best, uh, like I took mm -hmm. my favorite things from all of that, like those years worth of material. And then that's sort of the show that I toured around. And like, I did that show then at Joe's Pub in New York. And then I did it um, in LA at Dynasty Typewriter. And then yeah. no one, um, no one wanted to produce it as a real special. And I also didn't know how it would work as a special because it's just me alone on stage and it's it's hard to like the stakes I don't know I don't know it was just I I was like uh, yeah so but anyway when when um COVID hit I thought oh great good this is a really good thing for me because um I'm kidding no, uh but, but it did have like okay it was it was horrible but yeah for creative people, it kind of a little bit was a little bit of a really sadistic blessing. You know what I mean? Some, yeah. For 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 me, I was like, oh, this this not being able to leave, like, is a good um, like uh, bar, like a good um, obstacle, like. If I make this and people know that I, I made it because I couldn't leave my apartment, it just makes more sense that way. And I just, I like, I wish it was like an actually well-produced, um, you know, I wish I had Bo Burnham's Netflix tech budget, but I didn't. I just had, you know, iMovie and um, my Android phone and microphone and ah ring light i did have a i did order a couple other lights I but i didn't figure out what I, I think that those tech elements like added to it do you know what oh I mean? thanks thanks i i would hope so i hope it like yeah <laughs> i just um yeah i i still need to return those lights don't. that i bought oh don't? You bought but I, I don't know how to use them yeah oh were they like special like led lights like yeah, and I I use them one time, but then I I don't I don't understand how any of it works. But I just uh, yeah. So I so that show that that special was the live show. It's called um, someone's asking. It's called Help. I'm Help. stuck, and it's on YouTube. It's it's so good, and you do a lot of like film noir. You love you love some like historical comedy. I love genre. I love genre. You kill it. What was your, uh, what kind of material like are you most drawn to? Cause again, like you do a lot of like really twisted, really like dark comedy kind of stuff, but it's not like, not like dark spooky, but just twisted. What is your, what are you most drawn to? I only have, uh, I actually just unsubscribed or whatever. I canceled my Netflix and my Hulu and my HBO Max, because the only streaming service I watch is BritBox, because I only am interested in um, period dramas from the 70s. Did you, um, have you watched, this is really random, um, and it's not a comedy, but I just watched it last night. Have you watched X? Do you like scary movies? No, I don't like scary movies. They oh. make me too anxious. Same yeah. with The Real Housewives. Um, yeah. Yeah. I also don't watch The Real Housewives, but I feel like it's very trendy now and everyone's talking about it. So I'm like, should I? I don't know. I wish I did. I, re I miss my, my uh, like, 
my friends, um, to quote Julio Torres, um, I, yeah, I, I, it seems like fun, like everyone, you know, has fun talking about it, but it just stresses me out when people are like, are fighting with each other. Yeah. I don't like it. No, I don't, I know. I feel you. And I feel like, um, somebody, somebody just said there was an energy shift. I think it's cause I was looking down. I was looking at my questions guys. Oh, <sighs> God. Just, Are they printed on a special card? Yeah, I bought these on Canva. I'm trying to be professional. What? You know? Okay. This is a whole this is a whole production. Are you based in, in New York or LA? I live in New York, but right now I'm in LA. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna be I think I'm gonna be moving to LA in February. Keep... Well, good luck. Yeah. I don't know. I, I did I don't know. I'm in the Hudson Valley now, but it's just, it's, it's tricky. I don't know where I want to be. You know what I mean? Wherever you go, there you are. That's true. Um, okay. And I just wanted to know too, when, how much of your work is scripted and how much is improvised? Um, almost everything's scripted. I mean, yeah, okay. no, everything is, is scripted. Um, I can't, I'm not very good at improv yeah i need like a minute to think about things yeah if i improvise i need like two minutes to think of something first yeah did you ever do the UC yeah. or groundlings or no i didn't realize that that was an option until after i was already um a successful professional too old too old you're not too old you're never too old baby i'm 71 you don't look a day over 80 Truly. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so I guess to wrap up the questions, um, what, okay, but I guess you kind of already answered this because I, I was curious about that transition and if there was a transition from doing Help I'm Stuck online to transitioning it into your live show. But I guess you kind of were already doing a live show. Yeah, it was, it was live first and then, um, and then I just, oh, because nobody wanted to make it as a special, um, I was like, well, I love this material so much. Yeah. Um, so I want it like recorded somewhere before I never do it again. I want to see, okay, I, they, I'm going to manifest because I really want to see a Netflix or like a Hulu or like some kind of special with that, with that. There's a well, yeah, we'll see. I don't have any ideas anymore and now I don't want to um well okay but yeah <laughs> yeah um okay so i do a little segment on my podcast because segments are mm -hmm. king. you know we got to keep it organized i do a little segment where i talk about three stories that are kind of happening right now in the world you know things that are okay. comedy news whatever and we'll just kind of talk about it a little bit you know the queen um, the queen the well that's kind of an old story now it, it is like, yeah. I just found out 10 minutes ago. Did you? Right as we were doing the podcast? Because that seems a little unprofessional. Yeah. Some, no, up. yeah, someone was um, commenting saying the queen's dead. The queen's dead. And that's how I found out. Wait, what? <sighs> Which queen are we talking? Um, I assume the queen of, I don't know. I, I See, I can't improvise. I need two <laughs> minutes and then I'll think of someone. I'll think of something. The queen, I'll wait. Okay. Uh, the Queen's Gambit. Fuck, oh. No, that's bad. I'm sorry. You can. This is quality. Um, this is quality, everybody. Everyone that's great. experiencing something that's never going to happen again, ever. So. Thank God. I know. Because I'm embarrassing I'm, everyone. I'm, I'm terrible. I don't know what I'm doing. So. <laughs> um, so on to the news segments, everybody. Yeah. Uh, Okay, there's, um, did you watch the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial at all? No. Okay, I did, pretty heavily. I don't know why. I don't know what was wrong with me, um, but I was one of those people. And they're making it into a freaking movie already, okay? Tubi, I know you, you don't have, all you have is BritBox, but I don't have Tubi either. But Tubi just released the official trailer for the original movie, Hot Take. The Depp Heard Trial, a fictionalized retelling of this summer, a fictionalized retelling um, of this summer's 
defamation trial uh, involving actress Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. I saw this today and I was like, are you kidding? They moved real fast on this. Um, the wow. The film is set to break. Premier Friday. And, um, oh, to be T U B I. T U B I. Oh, I thought there was a new streaming service, like the number two in the letter B. Uh, well, we, there should be. That can be where mm -hmm. we we produce special. Okay. And I'll place in an apartment in New York to be. Thank you. Ah. Yeah. Um. You're so funny. I'm just I'm so funny. <laughs> um. So yeah, so okay, people wanted to know who's gonna play Amber. I don't know either of these actors, guys, so sorry, but uh, Mark Hafka from Days of Our Lives is gonna play Johnny Depp, and Megan Davis from Alone in the Dark as Amber Heard. I don't know. Oh, Alone in the Dark. Do you know? I'm oh. kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no. Um, so <laughs> making it a movie, a scripted movie, and it's 2022, and this is the world we're living in, and I love it here. Well, you you can be in the sequel about the making of the making of the movie. It could be like the disaster artist kind of thing. Yes, exactly. Perfect. Okay, great. And I will play the I will play the actress playing the actress playing Amber. And that'll be that'll I'm be. It. So yeah, really looking forward to that. September thirtieth, everybody. Um, you know, I, I'm struggling lately to find stories that I care about. Um, because do you ever like look at the news and you're like, I don't really care about anything that's happening. No, because I, I'm a deeply caring and feeling person. Oh, I'm not. So it's just harder for me to. Well, then I guess we're going to have to agree to disagree. All right. I love, I love... <laughs> See, this is what, this is what it's all about. Just people with differing views coming together. That's right. Yeah. Di Different people having different views mm -hmm. in different parts the of the view. world. The view. Yeah. The view. On to be. <laughs> to be on to <laughs> Okay. Um, another show. Is, well, not another show is coming back. A show is coming back. The Return of Inside Amy Schumer, guys. Um, I don't... Are you, an, are you an Amy Schumer fan? Do you like Amy Schumer? We are... Uh, I'm working with her right now on something. So, <laughs> yeah. Well... This is timely then. This is exciting. It's timely. Um, just to fixing my hair. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually, I'm really excited about this. Um, Schumer recently announced the return of her Emmy and Peabody Award winning series, which she has put on pause in, two, in 2016 because she didn't like that year. And I get it. It was the election and she was like, I think I'm done. I think I'm not going to do this anymore. Um, so with Trump being president, I was too depressed and didn't feel like I had anything helpful to say. Now speaking to Kimmel, the actress and the star of Hulu's Life and Beth, which I liked a lot, um, who is currently on her stand-up horror tour, said that she is inspired again. The result is five episodes that will roll out weekly with two installments and the first drop on October 20th. So, woo! We love a returning queen. We'll see. You we'll see. And I know you're listening, so. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be watching with heavy eyes. Okay. Heavy eyes. Heavy eyes. <laughs> what does that mean? You mean heavy hearts? I don't know. We don't know. Thing, okay, sorry. Sorry I asked. No, the thing about me is I really, most of the time, I don't know what's coming out of my mouth. Great. So. Perfect. If you're sitting there, guys, thinking like, is she okay? <laughs> the answer is no. So. Uh, anyway. Um, okay, so this. This is a bullshitter exclusive. And my producer, <laughs> who's here right now next to me, slipped this on my desk right before um, shooting this episode tonight. So this is just an exciting little tidbit about the host, who I don't, you know. Um, okay, so due to a recent series of unfortunate events, and no, not the infamous book series, <laughs> host of Bullshittery Podcast and Supernova, Mackenzie Barman, will be getting a facial and going to a spa for the very first time. And before you say anything, we know what you're thinking. How has the damsel with such perfect skin never gotten a facial before? Well, we asked. A source close to Mackenzie said she's just never gotten one, okay? So shut up. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. We'll report back next week with the update if she makes it out alive. Back to you, Cole. Thank you very much. We are 
getting more information in right now. Um, there are several people at the store. Um, sources close to the store are saying, I don't know. See, I can't, I, no, you're I can't good. improvise. That was great. No, it's stupid. I'm stupid. I hate it. Guys, everyone settle down. Settle down, okay? Okay. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm getting a facial for the very first time. And, uh, you know. Congratulations. Did you, are you doing a GoFundMe or? Uh, yeah, I raised enough money. Crowdsource? Uh, I crowdsourced for the facial. Um, this is the time to do it. People would be really excited to donate to that, I think. Yeah, and it's, we need to really prioritize what we're spending our money on these days. And I really think that, like, yeah. prioritizing me and my skin is just where we're, what we should be focusing on. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a nose. <laughs> and that is what, it's going to be facial. And mm -hmm. you heard it here first, guys. So, yeah. Wow. That's the news? That's the news. That's all the news Great. of the week. I found nothing Great. else that So. I'm, ha I'm happy. I'm comfortable with that. Yeah. And I, um, so that was it. That was the news. That was the news. And the other little segment that I like to do on here is a little recommendation station. We like to talk about okay. things that we're watching, things that you're, that you would recommend to people that you were like, that you're like, you need to watch this or you need to do. It could be a Brit Box record. I um, have been falling asleep recently uh, to um, a podcast called The Fall of Civilizations, and it's on, it, you can listen to it on YouTube as well, um, where um, a man just talks gently about different civilizations and how they ended, like, you know, the the Romans, um, uh, uh, the yeah, the Bronze Age, the collapse of the Bronze Age. Um, I really recommend that. If you like Real Housewives, you will love to hear about the fall of the Bronze Age. The fall, okay. I, you know, I, mm -hmm. I'm more of like a true crime person, but you don't, you probably don't like true crime stuff, do you? Cause you don't like spooky stuff. I don't, it stresses me out. Yeah. It I get gets that. my anxiety, and I have acid reflux, and then I'm up all night with heartburn. Forget I had it. I really bad, actually, and I never did heartburn, so I thought that I was dying. Yeah. What, had you had a burrito or something? <sighs> Too much coffee? That can do it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know, but I hated it. Um, Guys, what... chime in what you think that she ate that probably gave her yeah. indigestion, heartburn. Probably... Um, I, so you're not going to like my recommendation, but that's okay because we're different people and we can have different ideas. This is what the show's about. This that's is what right. this show's about. Yeah. I just watched Dahmer and, uh, I really liked it a lot and I think you guys should watch it. Um, excuse me, I have to burp. <gasps> okay. Um, I, I really liked it a lot and I, do you? You're not an Evan Peters person, are you? Or Evan Who's Bull that? What is he? He's on American Horror Story? Yeah, he's just like on all the seasons of it. Hmm. I'll watch, I'll put that on my list. Put it on your list. You know, it's spooky. You might okay. not. Um, no, somebody said, oh, not Dimer. The victim's families are unhappy. No, I totally get that. I totally, I agree. That it was, they, they they told the story, like, in a way that was kind of, it humanized him a little too much, I think. But I will say, the performances were worth watching, I I think. Not to be controversial, but. Sounds like you're being really controversial. I'm just, I'm never going to be able to make anything again. I think you should have recommended a podcast about the fall of the Bronze Age. What was the Bronze Age again? Exactly. And that's my exactly. Problem. I don't. That's I, your problem. You know history. I'm jealous about that. I don't know history, but because I, I I listened to it to fall asleep, so I know the beginnings of history.
but I don't know the ends of history. Ah. <laughs> you see? We're still living through history right now. Nobody knows the end. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Sorry, um, I'm reading comments. Yeah, no, we can. You can read comments. Does anybody have any questions too for Cole? If you have a Does question. Does anyone have? Yeah. If, for those of you just tuning in, I'm on Mackenzie Barman's podcast, Bullshittery. And um, please um, follow her and unfollow me um, <laughs> as I'm a nihilist. And I, I want everything in my life to implode. Yeah. What do you... Cole, are you Cole? Yes. Cole, are you Cole? That was an easy question. Yes. 10 out of 10. Thank you for making it. Thank you. That was great. Um... Oh, no. oh, somebody said it was too slow. It was, it was too slow. But I liked it. I like, I like. Oh, I thought you said my answer was too slow. Oh, no. Your answer was perfectly mm. timed. Thank you. Am I um, working with Amy Sedaris on anything new? Not, not right now, but you never know. I am, yeah. I'm um, producing a, um, a self-producing a Western special that I'm filming in December. Um, oh, that's fun. That I'll just put out on YouTube for free. Um, yeah. You're, you're so generous for doing that. Well, yeah. no one else wants it. No one wants to pay me to make them. And I'd just rather people see it. If I'm going to make something, I want people to watch it. I don't want it to be on like, you know, a streaming service that only three people have, you know? Yeah. Yeah, how do you, what, what would you, and we can, we can wrap up in a minute, because I know it's, it's, we're going on to an hour, um, but what, yeah, how do you feel about that? So, like, you have a creative idea, nobody, if nobody wants to pick it up, do you just say, fuck it, I'm going to do it anyway, and just do it? Or do you ever, like, hold on to anything, and you're like, no, this I need to wait for something to Um, I feel like I have to just make it, or else I'll be really resentful. And I'll, and also I'll get really jealous and I don't like feeling jealous. It makes me feel so gross and icky. That's the reason I'm making this Western is because I was um, getting jealous of some of my friends and I was like, oh, well then why don't I just make the thing that I want to make? Yeah. So I'm putting, you know, yeah, Wait, my own money into it. Oh, so how, yeah. Is it like, how, how, what is the production like? So it's not just going to be. I don't know yet. No, well, it, it's going to be like a, an actual, we're going to build sets and stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. Where That's do incredible. I find inspiration? All around me. Um, no, mostly from, from BritBox, from watching BritBox. <laughs> you know, my friend from England, uh, Katie, shout out to Katie. She's the one I'm getting the facial with. She is from England. She's from Derbyshire. And uh, she has BritBox. And she recommends shows to me constantly. And I need to get BritBox because, seriously, English actors are just better. And that's just the mm -hmm. truth. So. And I wanted to because I, I asked, like, everybody this. And we never I never asked you about this because you mentioned, like, getting jealous of friends and stuff, which I totally feel that. Do you deal with imposter syndrome? Is that like a thing? And if you do, how do you kind of cope with that? Um, I don't know what that means. I don't really understand what imposter syndrome means, I don't think. Like, oh God, I shouldn't be here. Like, they're going to find out I don't. I mean, I don't know. No, I guess not. But I do get jealous and I am like, oh God, I'm, I'll never get my own special or my own show because like I there's something broken in me but then I'm then I think well I I can just make it I don't need to wait for like a big corporate stamp of approval that says um this is what you need to watch because the other thing is like I hate I don't really like what's on a lot of them a lot of the shows so why would I why yeah. do I want their approval? You know, I guess I just want their money. True. Yeah, so, just give us money. Yeah. Guys. Give us money. We don't need you for anything yeah. else, you know? Right. And just, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, I won't make you improvise anymore. I know that you hate it, so I'm not going to do it. Um, Thank you. But... I'm just weak. <laughs> I just can't do it. 
was a deep. <sighs> yeah. Everybody breathe with us, okay? Um, somebody said hello. Hello, Dex. Um, Cole, I just wanted to thank you again for saying yes to hanging out with me for an hour. Um, I know your time is precious. You have like so many. It's not to precious. Me. It's not precious. Yeah. But I appreciate you wanting to um to talk with me and. You know, I'm. I I want to apologize to your followers that I'm such a wet rag. Um, no. In real life. No, shut up. I am. No, and you're so no. effervescent and um and Not and nice that. and such a people person. And I'm, um, a wet blanket. That's the saying. Not a wet rag. <laughs> Time is fleeting. Someone says. Thank you. That's very true. <laughs> I think I like wet rag though. I think we. I think that we should yeah. make that. Um, no, I know I'm a lot. I'm a lot. And I try to, I try to match energy, but I think I'm, I'm just like a, a lot, like as a person, you know? And I'm not enough. <laughs> You're more than enough. Thank you. Um, no, truly, I'm, I am a massive fan and, um, you know, I'm going to work with you someday. So we'll just, you know, when the time comes, it will, um, I'll see you on set. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, and guys. Yeah. Facials and wet rags. That's right, Justin Dark. And the dark web, you know? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, Cole, thank you so much. Do you have any words of wisdom for folks trying to do this thing? Um, no. <sighs> Get over it. Get over yourselves. Yeah, quit while you're at it. Wait, I just want to apologize to the person that asked for, if, where I get inspiration from because then they said, oh, I thought you would answer that seriously. But I was serious. I promise. I love you. Okay. Yeah, about us is we're jokesters. We're jokesters and thieves of joy. So if you ask us a question, we're going to not, you know? Um, okay, but anyway, I'm going to let you go because I, I know you have to go. So... Thank you so much again for being here. And uh, guys, this episode will be everywhere tomorrow. So you can listen to it and watch it all over again. And you can everywhere. Thing. Bless you and bless your whole family. Um, Cole, thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody.